what's up y'all if you haven't seen the video that i did yesterday go watch that one before you watch this one it'll make a lot more sense just wanted to give you that heads up real quick but this is going to be a good video too What's going on, everyone? My name's Obi, and welcome back to the Courtside Financial Podcast, the podcast where we talk about business and technology. In today's video, we're going to be following up on my previous video where I posed the uh, asked the question of should Neo develop their own autonomous driving chip, which they are. They're moving forward with it. It's almost ready to be mass produced. Uh, I got a couple comments on that video that I wanted to follow up and make kind of a part two addressing those comments. Uh, a lot of these points were very valid, so I do want to acknowledge that as well before we get into the video, but make sure that you hit the like button, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell icon, and leave a comment down below. Your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel, helping it to grow, helping us to reach a broader audience. So without further ado, let's get into today's episode. So I want to start by addressing a couple comments from our recent video. One viewer mentioned that Neo developing its own chip to compete with Nvidia in the driving space could be a massive success, especially with backing from the Chinese government, the potential for backing from the Chinese government. Another viewer brought up the idea that Neo uh, developing their own chip might be to prevent any negative implications from US uh, sanctions regarding chip manufacturing. First, let's talk about sanctions and the notion that NEO is developing its own chip as a safeguard against potential restrictions. While I understand this perspective, I want to point out that the US-China tech relationship is very complex. Major US companies like Apple are deeply entrenched in the Chinese market, which makes a total cutoff highly unlikely. The global tech ecosystem is way too interconnected for such drastic measures without severe consequences on both sides. Even if we were to consider the sanctions angle, it's important to recognize that China already has strong chip manufacturers. Marcel in a couple of his videos has discussed this thoroughly. But if you look into the investment world, I would say there is an ongoing narrative out there that China will not play a role in AI because of the US sanctions on, for example, Nvidia chips, right? So I think this is a false and misleading claim, and we see it day after day with benchmarks. There's companies like Byron Technology, which NEO has a stake in. Well, not NEO directly, but NEO Capital has a stake in, and other Chinese manufacturers who are producing competitive chips. Byron Technologies has the BR100 GPU, and I know this is a GPU, it's still a chip. Um, for the purpose of NEO, we're talking about their automotive chip, which would uh, kind of rival um, NVIDIA's uh, nvidia's drive thor which we talked about in the last video but if you can make gpus you can make an automotive chip nvidia is showing us that but anyways not to deviate too far from the point this suggests that if neo wanted to protect itself from u.s sanctions they wouldn't need to develop their own chip from scratch they could just go to one of these chinese manufacturers these chinese manufacturers that already have their core competency as chip manufacturing. Now let's get into Neo's decision to make their own chip. I stand by the fact that this is a significant risk for the company. Developing chips is no small feat. It's a complex resource intensive process and it's not Neo's core competency. And it's something they have to juggle with all the other things that they're juggling. This move could position Neo as a leader in the uh, EV tech space. It does come with considerable risk. There's nothing wrong with being objective. It's important for investors to acknowledge this. The fact that China does have a thriving, uh, an up and coming as well, chip industry means that NEO would have alternatives. If sanctions or other geopolitical factors threatened their supply chain with Nvidia, they could pivot to these other Chinese manufacturers rather than embarking on the challenging path of self-production. This would mitigate some of the risk involved with developing their own chip. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Neo's decision won't work out. It very well could. But as investors, I feel like we need to be realistic about the risk involved. The narrative that Neo must develop their own chip due to, uh, to avoid potential future U.S. sanctions 
oversimplifies the whole thing. There are already Chinese companies that could meet NEO's need should these needs arise. And let's not forget the interconnectedness of the US and China's businesses. Like Apple per se. This suggests that a complete decoupling is highly unlikely. It's just fear mongering. So in conclusion, while NEO's decision to make their own chip could be a game changer, it's also a calculated risk. I think that investors should keep this in mind when considering the long-term prospects of the company. I highly recommend checking out uh, Marcel's channel and watching all the information that he's put out there um, on this uh, specific topic. Super helpful. Thank you, Marcel. He offers a lot of insight into the capabilities of Chinese chip manufacturers. And I think it's a valuable resource for anyone following this space. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this Sunday video. I just wanted to make sure I got a response out there, but thanks for tuning into the Courtside Financial Podcast. We'll be at you next week with more content. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. I wanna hear what you guys think, um, again, on this situation and click that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any content that's to come. Thank you. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.